guys welcome back to my channel uh, in this video we are going to talk about behavior properties of our apps properties so what behavior property does is um, you might create components in power apps and while creating components there might be cases where you have to pass in functions like on select or on cancel to power apps and this is an experimental feature that uh, is now available so if you want to pass on functions like on select or on change to, uh, to a component this is something you can use so i'm going to create a component and uh, oops but it's with at 100 and its height as 900 and now that I've created a component, I'll put a rectangle. And so I'm creating a dialog box and this dialog box uh, can be reused in your application. And here there will be buttons which needs to act in a certain way based on whatever information that is passed from the main application. So again, uh, I put a rectangle, put it in somewhere in the center. Uh, makes this color as white. Put a text. Are you sure you want to submit this record? Right hand, make it center. Give it a, a, a bit of a bigger font. And then we can put a button, sorry. Yes. And cancel. So now I can use this uh, dialog in my app. So let's call it dialog so this component i can use it in my app i'll come to my main screen i search for dialog and here we have so we have this dialog we can hide this dialog or show this dialog from a button here but these buttons we want to put some actions in this button in its on select property but that's something we cannot do because we there are no ways to pass values here so for that purpose what i'm going to do is first let me insert a button so dialog and then in its on select property i can put update context var so dialog as true so i'll put this in the front i will reorder it and bring it in the front so when i click this button it needs to appear and when i uh, when i click cancel this dialogs need to disappear but how do i pass the action that I set here in on select property of this button to the cancel. So for that, I go to components and I add a cup property. And if you see, there is an input property and output property, but for, for this purpose, we will need a behavior property. And for that, I'll go to my settings. And then in the upcoming feature, in the experiment feature, I would search for enhanced component properties. Once I turn this on, and I come and add a new property. There is a new property called behavior property. Now let me call it on cancel. So I'm creating a behavior property called on cancel. And now that this property is created, I'll make it text. So what I can do is on the cancel button, which is over here, I can say what this cancel does is this the cancel needs to does whatever information that is passed on from the main screen. 
So what I'm saying is whatever thing that is passed on the dialog property of the main component, the cancel needs to act in, in, in the same way. So this is my update context for dialogs true. And now if I go to my dialog and it's on, I get a new property called on cancel. I can come here and I can set it as false. So now I play this and click on cancel. It's not working because I have to go to my visible and set this set this uh, variable over here. So I click on show dialog, it appears. I click on cancel, it's disappearing. Click on so dialog it's appeared and in cancel it disappear similarly i might want to do something similar for yes as well so what i can do is i can come to my component i can have a new property called maybe on submit and make it a behavior property keep return type as text create and now if i come to my screen i can see a new property called on submit on my dialog a new property call on submit so you can use this on submit to submit a form or patch a record or do whatever you want in your application so this is how you can use the behavioral property in uh, in power apps and this gives you lots of flexibility in creating components now this dialog button can be the dialog component can be reused over and over again in other places as well where these buttons might behave in some other way so you have this flexibility to define what behavior this button does in other screens and reusing the same components this improves the performance as well now that you are not creating too many controls to care uh, and this gives you a way of making your app more uh, more performant as well uh, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell no notifications to stay updated with all the videos that I upload. Thank you so much and see you in next video.